Hello, 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 wonderful people. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome this morning. Today's Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. So today I have with me one of the amazing contributors from Miraculous. And we're just going to have a delicious chat about who she is um, and why she said yes to um, activating and instilling hope in the world and being part of this sacred project. So welcome, Patricia. Hi, good morning. Or I guess it's good morning. Noon time where we're at. But yeah, thank you for having me here. Of course. So Patricia, let's start out with this. Tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do in the world. Okay. Um, let's see. Well, I am a um Oh, I want I want to say multi multi de multi-dimensional um modern mystic. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you are. <laughs> I do a lot of uh, transformational lifestyle um, work with people, with my clients, and I use a variety of um, modalities, um, specializing um, as an Akashic wisdom guide. And um, one of the things that I, um, I'm, I also do a lot of um, different healing modalities. I started out as a, um, a massage therapist and then crunched out into a lot of other more, more um, mystical arts. And that's where I, I like to be. Um, let's see, you asked if, uh, do you want me to go into why I chose to be not yet? Not yeah. yet. I want us to dive more into your work because I, I wanted to grab okay. your card deck, the um, infinite self, because oh, I freaking yes. love that oracle. Oh, you have yours there. I freaking I love it. Here, but <laughs> I have it, but I, I authored um, an oracle card deck this year. Uh, I worked with a, a woman to help me design it, but and and then print it out, and it it basically has like all of my artwork, my transmissions. Um, last I think I started in 2015 I just started you know creating different images um and writing them right I have an Instagram uh, account and these have all been in there at one point or or another and um, now they're all in this this infinite self oracle card deck and it delves to um, the different wisdom bodies that we all hold. And so there's uh, five categories that it works with. And two of them are healing, like chakra healing and uh, karmic healing. And then the other three are your, um, your higher self uh, wisdom, your element self wisdom, and uh, your cosmic self wisdom. And so it's it's a tool that uh, I'm still developing um, some protocols for people to go deeper with it and pull their infinite self blueprints and such. But um, but yeah, that's one of one of my um, my tools, my mystical tools that I use with my clients. And I absolutely I also, love it. Yeah, I, it's it's got it is. a lot of a lot of energy in it to support people. I, at least that's what I hope. Absolutely. I also love how simple it is. You know, the messages mm -hmm. are to the point. I don't have to like rack my brain to try to understand what, you know, <laughs> what that archetype is trying to tell me. And it's always been like on point every single time, you know? So I, I love the colors. I love the imagery, the message. And I love that you also incorporate the, um, it's like the the oils and the, the crystals in there too. Cause now I'm like, oh, I really love this card. It represents me and I wanna work more with it so I can use this stone or I can use this combination of oils. So that, that was genius. Oh, I'm glad that you love that. Yes, I am. Um, I do create perfumes and oh, hi there. And I have um, a lot of the, the cards. I love that they come to this. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Goodness. So hello. Um, hi there. 
see the top the top of his head <laughs> yeah he's hiding he's like being all shy there we go <laughs> there we go there's that beautiful smile yeah oh yeah but no i love that you incorporate that oil aspect of it um yeah tell me more about that like having i mean you do a lot like your work is it is a mystics work and i love that it's unlimited you know like you have so many avenues that you tap into um to help your clients to help people to help the world yeah i so i'm when i first started out after you know it's actually um uh biologists, biochemists, you know, science, science came in from the science background. And so I came into wellness from, from that side of understanding the biochemistry and, and how chemicals affect the body. And so I really fell in love with essential oils because that's, I had focused on how things harm the body for years in my environmental work, which is another side of me. And, um, and then I got into the essential oils and the crystals and sound healing and light language and all of that and how those frequencies uh, affect the body in positive ways, right? And and yes. so I I um I I worked strictly with you know like oils for the beginning to help people stabilize their emotions or to you know help support like anti-inflammatory you know, inflammatory lifestyle and things like that. But then I jumped into um, what I what I call alchemical uh, perfumes. And so those ones are actually intuited and a lot of them are fee shards. And so I have, oh gosh, I don't know, at least 22 alchemical perfumes and they invite in more from um, like for meditation, if you wanna wear them all day because you wanna embody a certain frequency. And so I, that's one of my loves uh, and I'll probably always will be working with oils and, and crystals. Um, and so, yeah, that's another, another mystical playground. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. So Patricia, what, why did you say yes to contribute in, in miraculous? What called you to it? Oh gosh. So my body was just a, a, a full yes. My mind was like, well, I don't really know if I have anything to, you know, offer. Um, but my body, you need to show up. And, and so I, I did a little, you know, it's inside me that's like, it's really important to talk about and share stories about how you opened up to mm -hmm. this mystical part of yourself. Like I said, I mentioned, I, I started out very much in the science and just the wellness aspect. And it wasn't until I had this certain experience that I'm going to write about with light language um, that kind of was the transition into my, my you know, mystical um, medicine. I, I don't know, we can't really call it. Medicine, <laughs> It is a medicine. A I'm not a doctor. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it is a medicine for the soul. So yes, yes, medicine yes. Medicine for the soul. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I'm. I'm really excited for people to hear your story. So, for those of you, um, you probably are familiar with Patricia because she was part of the Light Language Summit, or it was like the Light Code Summit that I did earlier this year. Um, and she was a huge part of that, the podcast series and the summit as well. So she talks. Uh, um, you get to experience her speaking the Light Language and blessing you with the with um, with that beautiful medicine so if you're curious about that make sure you check that out because the videos are still there i mean they're still blessing people <laughs> they're gonna be there um but yeah that is just it's such a powerful story and i'm so excited for people to get to learn that about you mm, yeah grateful for the opportunity and um yeah just learning to trust my my yes exactly my mind, right Moving beyond oh, man. a lot of the work that I do too is getting out of your head and following your infinite, you know, self nature. Yes. 
I'm glad you said that. Which following your in- <laughs> following your infinite you self for the rest of your life. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So I have a question. Since you mentioned the following the infinite self, how would you um, how would you tell someone like how they can follow the infinite self? Hmm. How they can follow it. So, well, that's, that's a great tool for that. It makes it, it makes it, it makes it more accessible uh, to have like, to you, to learn to use your intuition, you know, um, by drawing Oracle cards, right. And, and trusting yourself and trusting the messages that come forward. And it's just also inviting in, um, your childlike imagination again, because you, well, I have found, and I know it's been said another way, in other ways by different people, but you often cannot find your way out of like a problem or a mental loop that you have from that mm-hmm. same plane, right? So sometimes it requires that you go way up you know, into the stars, into your cosmic nature or in your, you know, higher self. Or it requires you to go down into, you know, the the, the richness of the earth, you know, the body yes. of the earth and the other magical, you know, fairy realms and the elements and, and all of that. And so it's, it's learning to allow your your curiosity about parts of yourself that you may may or may not have um, turned off as you became an adult for whatever reasons. So it's, it's yeah. kind of turning back on all, all those channels so that you have just an array of, of resources to um, embody in this f- physical vehicle and really cultivate a life of, of you know, deeply enjoying being, which I know can be difficult. I mean, and there's many things going on in the world right now too that, you know, that might seem uh, um, too simple of an explanation, but it help you deal with chaos and it does help you deal with pain and discomfort <clears throat> to be able to access those resources. Yes. I have found yes. personally. <clears throat> exactly. And you know, as you were talking, I was like, oh, I should have asked you first. How would you define the infinite self? Because for me, when I think about my infinite self, it's like the part of me that is plugged into everything, that knows everything, that is always flowing, always just open, you know, infinitely expanding. Like there's no limit to her. So how would you explain the infinite self? Well, it's interesting that that we're meeting today is we, you know, I, I, I'm also work with the gene keys, um, yes. which is about, you know, accessing your gifts of your, your infinite self, basically. Uh, and at least in this time and space, but um, we're in what a gene key that's called super abundance and expansion. And it, and it's all about going, it's called evolution beyond evolution. And so it's just like, expand, you know, complete expansion in, into that field. And that happens to be one of my, um, what they call your uh, IQ, mm-hmm. so mental field, that, that's the gene key that rules mine. And so it's no, it's no coincidence, right, that I, I just feel drawn to exploring every, every single aspect of consciousness, right? It, it can be any dimension. Um, a lot of my art comes from different dimensions. And so you might, um, for instance, if somebody watches a movie and, you know, it's from an, it's created from another dimension, right? Like you can mm-hmm. look at The Hobbit or, or different, you know, Harry Potter and just things like movies like that. And those are parts of the infinite self, right? The imagination. So it's, it's really what we as humans in our 3D bodies call imagination is actually a whole other, you know, realm of existence. And so it's being able to go into those different places while staying rooted in the body, right? So yes. You, you know, do what you came to do um, here on earth at, at this time. 
Yes. I'm not sure if that explains it. Um, it does. It's hard. It to, does. It, it's, it's just an adventure. It's, it really it's is. You know, and I asked you that because the infinite self, like really tapping into this aspect of yourself is what opens you up to experiencing miracles in your life. It's like opening you up to say, like you get to see the miracles of life. You get to draw in your own miracles and you get to experience those miracles. And I feel like that this is a, a huge part of that experience is by connecting to your infinite self. What do you think? Yeah. Yes, I agree that it is connected to the, the miracles. So no wonder I was a full yes to, to show. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I oh, I, love, I love I love I love being in your your temples and and around you. So miraculous things occur. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. the same. Likewise, yours is the same way. I mean, we're sisters, sisters in, you know, like the sisterhood of the rose. That's what I call them. The Magdalene's like we connect on that yes. level. So we share a lot of this magic, this. Um, yeah, I'm just going to call it magic. <laughs> you know, like I've seen people transform in your presence. I, I remember when you were doing the light language and how people were responding to that. And you were literally on fire. You were glowing. Like it looked like someone put a spotlight on you. It was powerful. It was powerful. So the medicine that you're sharing in the world, like I honor you for saying yes for saying yes to, you know, stepping into your power, stepping into your voice, sharing your vision with the world, sharing your medicine with the world, because it is, it is potent. And in this day and age, more people crave that medicine. So thank you for saying yes. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm just taking it all in right now. That was delicious. <laughs> Let the magic. Let it weave all around us. Yes. Seen and unseen, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, thank you for joining me this morning, or I think it's afternoon right now. But thank you for joining me. And yeah, and thank, thank you. you for saying yes and being part of this project that will bless so many hearts that will activate hope and miracles, you know, and it, it blows my mind that people coming into this container and like we're creating this powerful vortex of miracles. And even like the vision that I saw is like, even just touching the book is going to open you up in ways that you're like, ah, right. It is a huge blessing. Like Magical we're re books. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, I want you to say it again because I just heard magical. Magical books. I know it's cutting, cutting in and out a little bit. It's a magical book. And, and yeah, magical. Exactly. Book. It will exactly. have transmissions it's... just coming through from watching, if you said. I believe exactly. That. Exactly. Oh, sister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And for those of you who watch this, thank you. If you are feeling this goddess's energy and you're like, I want to know more about her. Um, Patricia, after this, come back and put your, um, like a link somewhere that people can find you either, like put it in the comments. You just come back to the video and put it on this so people can find you. Um, and also if you, after hearing this, you're like, I want to be part of this magic you want to say yes to sharing your story, I'm going to put the link to apply also in the comments. So look, look out for that. All right, my loves. Thank you. That. Thank you. Thank you thank for you. joining bye, us. Everybody. And until next time. Bye. Bye.